this year I predict it will be associated with the um, most ambitious um, efforts so far anyway in the world to define, as you said, and to safeguard the rights of individuals in, in the digital age. The data went digital already years ago. What has to go digital right now is the data protection. We are uh, closely cooperating with the European Commission to put at our, their disposal our uh, 12 years experience on uh, uh, the existing uh, Regulation 45-2001. We have a unique opportunity now that the reform for member states is established to uh, lead as EU institutions by example in the European Union that we would like to lead by, by, by example. Ladies and gentlemen, the data subject, this is your data. This is your data. We are not talking about the commodity. We are talking about your data. The General Data Protection Regulation is a very long, it's a complex document. It's not the one of my dreams. It's not the perfect one, but I will firmly defend it because it's the best we can achieve today. The person has the rights, and we have to remember that these are not only the rights given by the law, they are coming from the dignity of the human being. We are in increasingly exposed to, to risks. Your data is becoming the, the modern oil, the current uh, currency. Uh, you have a price, all of you, uh, depending on the kind of information you, uh, you, you provide. If you want to know what really drives a person, what a person really wants, you don't listen to what that person says. You just look what the person does. And that's what behavioral data is about. That's what metadata is about. The computers will, uh, will know who you are much better than yourself. We should not stop uh, using the new technologies, the new ways to communicate, but we should just be aware that we can use them in a way that also protects our private life and our uh, dignity and our all other interests and rights. We all administer our entire life via smartphones, tablets, and um, there is no, no way out um, to slow down innovation. The creation of this advisory group could be the most transformative element of this radical season of privacy reform. I think that what the EDPS is doing here could be a terrific first step towards catalyzing a broader discussion about what would a profession of big data science or AI look like? What would be the fundamental foundational ethical codes? Data protection alone cannot give all the answers to uh, big societal uh, problems. Some answers, some solutions uh, go beyond the mere compliance with, with the law and therefore we have to consider to which extent ethical implication can be, can be of an help. Technology is man-made, it's not a natural disaster and it should be controlled by humans, by individuals and by society as such. Technology should always be influenced and designed in a privacy-friendly, in a lawful and also in an ethical manner. This is a truly genuine transatlantic uh, exercise. There are some real security issues that absolutely need to be addressed. The uh, issue is uh, bridging the gap between Europe and, and, and US. Now all of this is incredibly important for us to be talking about across the Atlantic. The center of gravity is the individual human, human being. The processing of personal data should be designed to serve mankind. So, dear colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I wish you a safe uh, journey home. Uh, maybe the force uh, with you. Go in peace to, uh, to love and uh, serve the Lord. Thank you for your attention.